We're a family that's believed in service all our lives, but we also believe that the service has to mean something. At the end of the day, it's memories like these that are that we want other people to have and, and to think that they we provided that kind of service that I guess you'd say is memorable for them. So that's what I think our, our life's about. Mr. Crandall, my father-in-law, asked if I would uh, like to sell real estate during the time that uh, I was going to, to school. So I took a business degree and got my master's degree and was the first master's degree in real estate at Michigan State. And then, of course, that was the career beginning for the real estate field with, uh, with Mr. Crandall here. A value that we have uh, uh, probably acquired from our family and through, our, through the generations is our commitment to our community and, commu and our commitment that we make to different organizations that we support. I, I think probably one of the greatest attributes of the family probably started with my grandfather in terms of he gave back to his community. You know, he felt the necessity to to do that. I, th I think it's innate. <laughs> it, I think part of it's learned, but I, I actually think we were born with that in our family, that it's just carried out through the generations. We feel very strongly that, um, that there is a meshwork of organizations that make both our industry important to us and also the community important. It's just like Grandpa Harry said, it's, it's about the people. I mean, when it comes down to it, our family's been serving Livingston County for so long, and we're very passionate about the area. And my grandpa's instilled that in me, is that it's about the people who live here and sharing our, our love of Livingston County with them. It's not so much about us, but it's so much about giving back and, and keeping those roots in the community, and again, building a strong community so others can share in the same kind of joy that we had. I have uh, calls from people who, or meet people uh, socially, and um, they are so complimentary about the way they've been treated by Scott or Carol or Jimmy or, or uh, with Michael, and it's just plain thrilling that they're going to carry this on, being the fourth generation and the ages of which they are in their 20s. This means that uh, Crand Realty or Griffith Realty will continue now you know, in the future and have a real influence on the direction of this community and the organizations that they belong to. If you wore the Griffith name, you were going to wear a real estate license along with that name because that was just, that was how our family saw that's how our family saw real estate is. It was a big part of our family. Everybody grew up around it. I, my first words were selling disclosure. And <laughs> Well, I, I think at the end of the day, you, uh, you enjoy people. You uh, enjoy time with people and learning about them. And then your ability to listen and to, to, try, to, uh, to try to adapt or uh, accommodate those things that you hear in the people's needs, you know, being able to be able to, to be able to have a perception of what people are saying sometimes is important as hearing what they have to say. Anybody can sell and buy, but really it's about building communities, lasting memories, um, building a family, um, finding people and being a problem solver and finding people who will also continue that thought process in a community. It might just be the idea sparked by a realtor that they have an expertise in a certain area that you can tie them into this community. Um, I think that's what you can't put a price tag on and I think that's where our company has shined in our family. It's just giving back to the community and building those strong community connections and being a part of giving back to a community that's given so much to us. Mm -hmm.